The Buffalo Sabres make their way to the Ice District as Rogers Place is set to host its first ever South Asian celebration game. And speaking of Rogers Place, it is the closure of a four game homestand for the Edmonton Oilers as they look to continue producing results. The team is 8-1-2 and two in their last 11. Their latest victory coming on Tuesday against Montreal. Dry Saddles 34th on the power play sealed a 3-2 overtime victory in a game where the players have shared they did not play play up to their standard and they hope to improve that here tonight. Getting points uh, at, at any point in the season is uh, is very important. Uh, right now obviously when you're kind of um, you're, you're fighting for position, jockeying for position a little bit, uh, it's very important. So I mean we'll take them uh, any way we can get them. Um, I, I still think we'd like to elevate our game for full 60 minutes uh, to the point where we know it can be. Um, tonight will be a good test. This team always uh, starts off fast and uh, got a lot, of, a lot of skill to kind of uh, want to push you back. So we got to control the pace from the start. But um, I thought the other night it wasn't like we played a, a terrible game, but I think uh, we let them control um, too many parts of the game and, uh, and dictate the pace of it. Uh, um, probably a little bit in the third and uh, at other times throughout, throughout the game. At Nugent Hopkins head coach Chris Knobloch this morning alluded to some changes to the lineup. However, we will be able to confirm all of them during warm-up tonight. But we do know that Connor Brown is in. Derek Ryan is out. Vincent DeHarnay remains out with an injury. Meanwhile, Stuart Skinner will get the start between the pipes. And on the other end of the ice... Uka Pekalukkanen, what a story he's been for Buffalo as the numbers, while well, they simply speak for themselves. As the last time these two teams met on March 9th, Lukanen stopped 30 of 32 shots in a 3-2 Buffalo victory. And in his last 28 games, he sports a 929 save percentage and has allowed three goals or fewer in 26 of them. Incredible stuff. For Oilers TV, I'm Tony Brock.